A lot of attention lately on drones delivering stuff to your house, but there's also talk about how they could be used by police and firefighters because a lot of them have cameras. I'm being watched right now, and that's cause for concern for one local lawmaker who wants to make sure rules are in place when it comes to surveillance from above. The future is here. Drones are not just for the CIA anymore. For a little over $1,000, anyone can buy one, complete with a video camera. It's just, it's amazing because I can, I, can, I can put this thing up in the air and I can look and see on a remote screen everything that this sees. John Pasqua knows drones. The firefighter from Coventry flies them as a hobby, taking video like this from the sky. On his off time, he'll bring a drone to fire scenes. I see a lot of potential with this in the fire service, uh, search and rescue, things like that. Getting a look from above can be helpful to firefighters in emergencies, he says. That's fine, says State Representative Teresa Tanzi, but she's got a proposal at the State House to rein in another kind of drone use. This is 100% about the use by police and law enforcement. Tanzi wants police to get court approval before using drones for surveillance. Her bill would require police to follow the same rules that are now in place for getting phone wiretaps. She's worried about privacy rights. It's not so much that the um, the police would necessarily be going out and trying to use them for nefarious purposes. It's um, it's the, the more mundane pieces of law enforcement. So how long would they be able to keep that for? Um, how would they be able to fly over my neighbor's home and um, you know uh, invade their privacy? I talked to the leadership at Rhode Island State Police who tell me they don't have any drones, don't know of any other police force in the state that has them, and they don't have any plans to get one soon. But they also said that they've already talked to Representative Tansy wanting to make sure that the rules aren't so restrictive that they can't use drones in the future. And they do want to leave that option open. I'm Brian. Crandall, NBC 10 News 19.